do. Yeah. Uh, then I want to do Chandler versus uh Poirier first. Chandler versus Poirier. That's co-main, right? It's got to be, right? Um, I don't, know. I don't Carla... have it in front of me, but I believe I... so. Oh, yeah. I think there's a girl. The Carla Sparza might oh, be Oh, yes. It's, the ta- it's uh, Sparza and, excuse me, it's Sparza and Zhang Wiley. That's right. That's right. I want to talk about Chandler Poirier first, though, because they're saying, I guess, Islam was supposed to be fighting Volkanovski, and I think I read this morning somewhere that Islam said that that's not really necessary next. I think potentially Poirier versus Chandler might be next, which I don't necessarily agree with. I would love to see Volkanovski go up and fight Islam. I, I think if I think Volkanovski has the best chance and uh, would be the most competitive fight against Islam. But Poirier versus Chandler, that's going to be such an epic fight. Every time those guys get in fights, that's just brutal it's it, they're f- so fun to watch. I don't even. It's so hard to predict at that at that level who who you got. Who do you think? I want to see Chandler win because I think Chandler has the best uh, chance against Islam. Mm, what do you think, mm. Luke? That's interesting. Um, yeah, who the fuck knows with these two, <laughs> right? I mean, especially with Chandler, where like he's kind of just fighting balls out all the time. You know, not like he was ever fighting reserved in Bellator or something. That's not quite true. Well, actually, you know, that's a little bit true. If you go back and you watch, like the uh, I don't know if you guys watch a lot of Bellator, but like if you watch his like fight against, I think it was Goichi Yamauchi. He kind of you know, or even in the Brent Premise rematch, he'll wrestle in in those fights kind of when he needed to. But um, but since then, it's just been, you know, just absolute fucking maniac going after you, like the Dan Hooker chasing him down and all that kind of stuff. I tend to think that if Chandler fights like that, Poirier is way more battle tested against that kind of opponent, right? Like if you just look at the Justin Gaethje fight, dude, and again, we know, and we know Gaethje's different, excuse me, Gaethje's different since then, but dude, that was a blood and guts affair. You want to talk about being in the trenches at lightweight, Ooh. Jesus Christ. Those guys were there, and it was and it was Poirier who hung on and then polished him off. I think in the fourth round, like the dude is just proven. My only question is, like, dude, after all these many years and all this many battles, is he now going to be having some durability issues as he gets to this stage of his career? Chandler, I think, has never had like a terrible chin by any stretch of the imagination, nor the best one, just kind of in the middle. Um, and so I think if it stays a relatively kind of stand up affair, I think Poirier edges him out in the end. But, you know, when you got a bomb like Michael Chandler or if Michael Chandler decides to wrestle, well, then it's a completely different ballgame. I think then it's a very different kind of fight. But as long as they're exchanging on the feet, it's winnable in either direction. But I would lean towards Poirier, if that makes any sense. Yeah, no, I totally agree. 